G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a curious geometry question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Circles with radii 1, 2 and 3 are mutually externally tangent. What is the area of the, uh, of the triangle determined by the points of tangency? Okay, obviously I've got to draw this. Uh, three circles, radius 1, radius 2, radius 3, are mutually externally tangent. They touch each other from the outside of each other. All right, so a circle, a circle, and a circle. Radius 1, 2, and 3. Um, okay, what is the area of the triangle determined by the points of tangency? Don't really know what points of tangency means, but obviously it must mean the points where they're tangent to each other. So I guess I want the area of this triangle here. All right, radii 1, 2, and 3. So not quite sure what to do, but it just feels absolutely compelling to draw in radii 1, like that, radii 2, like that, and radii 3, as shown. All right, so I want the area of this inner triangle. All right. Well, I feel like I do know stuff about triangles and their areas and some circle properties. So I don't know what to do in this question, but I can probably flail around and get somewhere. So let's do strategy number one, which is engage in successful flailing. Um, what I might do is, write, first of all, just recap in my mind, what do I know about areas of triangles? Well, how can I work at areas? Um, half base times height, that's one formula, but I don't even know any side lengths of that triangle and certainly don't know the height. Uh, what else do I know? Uh, I guess if I know trigonometry, I've got the area of a triangle is half a b sine theta. And if I know two sides and the angle between them, then I can use that to work out the area of the triangle. Um, there's also Heron's formula, which is kind of weird. The area of a triangle is the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. Okay, square root of all that. Um, where a, b, and c are the sides, and s is the sum of the three side lengths of the perimeter divided by two. It's called the semi-perimeter. So I've actually got three ways to work out triangle areas of triangles. Um, but the trouble is, I don't know any side lengths that inner one. What can I do? Well, maybe, maybe. Maybe I should work out the area of each of these sort of three outer triangles, A1, A2, and A3, because I know at least two of their side lengths. And I could work out the area of the whole big triangle, because I know everything about the big triangle. It's area uh, side length three, side length four, side length five. Oh, the big triangle is a three, four, five triangle. It's a right triangle. Oh, that's got to be handy. That's got to be handy. So what we've got here is really a right triangle, and I've got two points like one and one, two and two, three and three. This is what the situation really looks like. Oh, so I know what area one is. A1 is just half a square. A1 is a half times one times one. It's a half. Uh, Maybe I could work out area two and area three, and I know the whole big area, I'll call the whole big area, what do I call it, um, A, I guess, is what, three by four, that's the height, so it's half of three times four. The whole big area is six. So all I need to work out now is this area two and this area three, because then I can just do subtraction and get the area I want. How do I work out that area? Well, I don't want to use Heron, because I don't know that third side. Um, half base times height, don't need that. I guess, do you know what? I guess I'm going to have to use that area 2 is half 2 times 2 times sine theta. Is there any way I know what sine of that angle is? There is. I can see it in my mind. So think about it too. Can you see how we know what sine of that angle is? In which case we know area 2. I bet area 3 will fall into place as well. In fact, I bet the whole question will fall into place. It makes me feel good now. Try it out. Get an answer. Get an answer for this inside area. And then when you're ready, compare your answer with mine and the essay that goes with this. Plus, I have an extra question that's kind of fun. All right, have fun with this. It's cool stuff. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.